Welcome to another Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Phil Baxter, and today I will be discussing the differences between SSR electric heat and standard stage heat. First, let's talk about what an SSR is. An SSR is an acronym for a solid state relay. Early versions of time proportioned heater controls used SCRs or triacs. These devices avoided the problem with mechanical wear but came in small component packages that were unable to dissipate heat well, which caused re reliability problems. The SSR was designed to solve this problem. The SSR features silicone wafers up to 10 times larger than the older devices with equal current ratios and heat dissipating areas over 20 times the size of older devices. The latest version of the solid state relay feature three phase 480 volt control in a single package, greatly reducing the number of connections required, which further enhances reliability. The SSR is energized by a time proportion controller that modulates the heat to supply the exact amount of heat required to satisfy the occupied zone requirements. The SSR electric heat works by modulating the time the electric heat is powered on, not the kilowatts of the heater. As an example, let's assume the controller has a time base of two seconds. As the zone requires heat, the pulse signal time to on increases to meet the requirements of the zone and turns off for two seconds. During this no pulse time, the electric heat turns off. The total heat output is an average between on and off periods. In the example below, the heater would pulse on for 8 tenths of a second and off for 1.2 seconds to meet a 40% requirement. As the zone temperature decreases, the signal strength increases until it is eventually at 100% with a continuous on pulse. At this time, the electric heat is on 100% of the time. The chart below shows an example of increasing on-off intervals from 0% to 100% heat requirement. This example is for reference only and actual on-off times will be determined by the controller and the heat output requirements design. The farther away the occupied space temp is from set point, the longer the energy pulse heat signal will be sent. The closer the occupied space gets to the set point, the call to energize the heat decreases. This keeps the occupied space comfortable with limited over or under heating of the space. Now let's talk about staged heating. Standard stage heating, which energizes each stage of heat as its own temperature thermostat calls for more heat, which in a three-stage heater will increase at 33% increments. This type of heating can easily result in over under heating of the occupied zones. Let's talk about the advantages of SSR over staged heat. Your typical proportional SSR heater eliminates the over under heating of the zone by providing only as much heater output needed to satisfy the zone. Staged heat typically uses more energy to heat an occupied zone. Staged heat uses noisy magnetic contactors to energize the stages of heat, which could distract occupants. Solid state heat uses quiet solid state relays with no moving parts. Typically, staged heat uses a 24 volt AC signal from a controller to energize the heat. If the staged heat has one contactor, the heat is either 100% on or completely off. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.